<laughs> Come on, I'm recording this. Are you? <laughs> I thought you were going to get twisted. I had to do it. <laughs> I bet Daz has been filling in with Yorkshire puddings to slow him down. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings. Who? <laughs> oh. Yorkshire puddings? <laughs> You tell. Do you think man? This should be cover, just in case. I warm up here if you want. Half a beer, that's it. Yeah, no, that will be for us, you know, for a minute. 
Oh, I have to talk to that, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks, mate. Right. You know I me. Mean. <laughs> oh, fucking stupid, <laughs> establish the heel of the clinch and the underhook importance of an underhook, okay? We each have an underhook. <coughs> now, my independent underhook off of here, I want to have lift into his armpit. It's this way of pressure. It's not out here because he'll slip it away or underhook me. Not underhook me. If it's out off here, I'll from wizard it. So it's in my armpit. Slight lift, and he hooks up here. So it's a lift and a pull down. This hook is an ideal underhook. So you're opening up the side. You're opening up. Throw, grab, 
um, who control each other's arms, move around, and of course we have all the other grappling styles, the boss kind of off his throat, you got all these really cool throws out there and stuff like that. But in this game we play, we're going to only attack on the hips up, okay? And I have an underhook and he has one. And what I want to get is the two underhooks. Because when I'm here, I'm going to grip, I'm going to kind of pull and roll up as my hips drop, and I lean my head into the pull. And now, it's this. We're in here, pummel, I grip, I'm pulling, and boom. Got it, okay? Now, in the pummel, my neck is like this. I should pull in my neck like a turtle. My arms will come in close on my body, and my ideal posture is this. Which now, if he punches, it's not, right? I gotta be more out here. But then once I clinch, I'm, I'm like this. I draw in my neck, I bring my elbows in tight, because if they're way out here, he gets arms and throws. Now it opens up ribs for shots, like everything's in tight, okay? My neck's in tight. And we're battling a T Rex with Godzilla. Going, okay? My head, I want to have up and tight, and if I'm over here, I want to lean weight on his leg. Uh, otherwise, he'll knee me. Knee me. See, I got some weight on his leg, it's kind of hard, right? If there's no weight on his leg, he can just lean me right over that. Bing. Okay? So, so my head's either up or if it's down, I'm leaning on that side. Okay? Now, in our pummel drill, Right here. So I'm gonna pummel him, he'll pummel. He goes in, pummel side, and we're gonna switch. Switch. And then right now we're friendly, we're cooperating on pummel. Next in, I'm gonna aim my shoulder to hit his back when I come in. Okay, so friendly pummeling. Now, we're going to make it a little less go keep one. And slowly, I'm going to try and stop his. Last minute, if I have to, I'm going to pummel. See, I'm trying to stop his. And re pummel. Try to stop his. Pummel again. And what I want is two underhooks. And that's what he wants, too. I want this. Because once I'm here, I'm going to clip it, bring it in, and take him down. Okay? That's your first. Regret off throw. Just get two unhooks there. Or I can't go. He has a good base. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep working it in. I'm going to lift my arms up as I'm turning. Put down here. Now I'm going to slap his throw. Do all those nasty throws like that. Okay? So let's warm up on a pummel. Let everybody pummel. Do you guys all have that in the warm and he wants that too. So we're battling for grips here. Okay, here's our game. There's like a two on one. Get grip out. And again, I'm T-Rex. And this, I'm like this. I'm not out here, I'm going like this. So if you're way up high, you can get a shot. You can get a deep shot. Okay, so if you're in here, we're battling for hand control. I'm going to work this arm drag, my drag return. <coughs> okay, beginning now. Let's do that game real quick. It will also help you to do a clinch. And now I know instinctively I'm going to grab it. And then I'm going to pop over here and switch. Come up over here. Okay? It's a good instinctive thing is when we're smacking away in here, we a clinch, it's that I know how to, he knows how to move my body around, like he can really hit a hard punch, because he's got that, but it's not, ding ding, okay, because it's a sport specific area, okay, so just real quick, arm drag drill, I'm going to hold his hands here, I'm just going to reach across, Focus, try, and I'm going to pull as I launch in my hip like this. 
So I'm going, okay, so I'm in here, holding my hips around, I move them around a bit, and then when I use it, my hip around, I'm going to do it on me a couple times. Okay, and then I'm going to build it off here, I'm just holding on the grip and I'm going to harness them. I'm just going to reach and grab a harness, and once I get grip, I can throw. Break, push, kick, punch, right? Okay, that's our drill. So over here, as you're just gonna reach across, grab this, try. You're gonna pull as if you're like pulling something really heavy. One, and pop them through. So you're gonna be popping through with your hip in there. Okay, let's do that. Reach across the drags. I'm going to stick my hand across his hips. So, you feel slow drag. He drags, I stick my hand and I'm going to come and clinch. That's one count, okay? Drag, drag, pull it off over there. So I'm going to angle my body. Keep my arm moving off over here, okay? The other one, okay? He goes, this one is going to come across, see? And then I can re-drag him. He re-drags me. Okay? We'll just be dragging each other. Faster. Okay? We're just kind of re-dragging across. It's just a drill. That won't ever happen in an actual match. You'll drag, you'll drag, you'll drag, you'll drag. It'll happen maybe like half of that will happen. I'll start a drag, he'll pick it up, and you'll instantly drag. See? Okay, let's practice that. At times I'm like more like reading what's going through the intricacy and dissect all our counters and all that stuff. And, but I kind of want to get through a bunch of like a clinch intro real quick, if and that's okay. Is that cool? Yeah, okay. So the other one is the Thai plum, the clinch, right? I'm sure you guys all know. So, so we'll just quickly make a, a clinch in the game and then we'll move on. Okay, so obviously if I'm here in the plum, my elbows are in and I'm here, you hold your neck up. It doesn't work real well, right? So we come up here on top of the head and pull down. So he does that on me. He doesn't pull it up. That's kind of a problem at times. But I got a knee I got to watch out for. So my hands are in here. I'm blocking. He comes up. I'm going to get a good shot on that, right? So we also have in here a pummel where we're like this, which is a head uh, tie, locking horns. And what I want out of this is a tie plumb. So I'm going to reach my hand in here and plumb. He's going to reach his hand on the other side and plumb. And I'm going to reach my hand in and plumb. Reach in and plumb. So it's a plumb battle. Okay. Then we're going to bring it into an underhook now. See? I got my underhook now. So now I start my underhook throw. And all that stuff. So he's got to react to that, and I have to as well. So we're in here. I start my underhook battle. I change the underhook battle. I go back to the one battle. Okay? So we're going to play that game now, okay? Just gonna quickly play that and then we'll move on. Oh, on cast, okay? But um, if you just practice these for like three months, and then we're like added attacks, in other words, like <coughs> now we're in here oh, pummeling, and now you see I'm gonna practice the head throw attack because I got a pummel. So if I don't have a pummel and I do this and my pummel sucks, I'm gonna really get pummel. In there, right? So if you just practice these the drills more than the actual throws, just to get that who but controls that clinch. Who runs who runs the show in the clinch? Who's controlling that clinch? Control shoulders, control necks. All control of the clinch. Come here, you want to be the one who runs that clinch show. You control that clinch. In his face the whole time, then all these throws, you'll get him. But if you don't have a good pummel and a good clinch, 
I could show you all the throws and it won't mean shit, right? It's okay. Here's one. So we're in here pummeling. It's just like the easy way it's taught. Is as soon as we go here, I start my pummel, which is a fake, and my head my hand comes up, and I turn it like this. So we're in here pummeling. <coughs> you want to launch yourself, right? Well, you judo guys know that, right? Really over exaggerate. See, whoa, I hit that really hard. When I hit that head, you're hitting that head. Give it all you got because if I screw up, I'm in trouble, right? And then we went into that stuff the other night, which I'm going to bore you guys with again because I just want to go with that real quick. If that's okay. <laughs> okay, so head throw, we're in here to pummel. I'm going to glance off, gripping the head, stepping through, lowering my hips, not raising them, lowering them, turning, and throwing. It's an easy on your partner, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> and if you miss his head, go on the arm. Go on the arm. So keep your body rolling. And I've never seen him actually pull it in an edge of the match, but sure what's fun to pull that. Um, we're in here. A pummeling. He this. He breaks out. His hand comes this way. It's this right here. It's just a nasty fucking <laughs> 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 See, cool as hell. I, I have never pulled it off. It, it almost looks like, you know, this stuff, kind of. Um, but we're in here to pummel. Pummel. And this hand is this. See, and I'm, I'm pulling here. And then you reach your grip right here. And then you just step. But, I mean, just get a feel of it. Don't wrench your uh, guy's head off. <laughs> um, maybe you might not even want to do that one. I don't know. But it's cool as shit. He pulls it. Yeah, yeah. 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 In other words, yeah, just the entry, not the throw I'm in here. Rather than my head throw, so I'm going to come here and I, and I move across. And I move here. And then I just reach. And I grab my own hand. Now I admit, I, I, I've got his head here. And then, of course, you just do your mass. Oh. Pro wrestling, huh? Okay? You guys got that? So don't pass the head. Come to the other side. I push him here. And I push and pull. And then I reach, see? Don't jack anyone's neck up. No, yeah. If you got him in that position there, we're going to try to position with a chill. If, if it right. was you, I'd just break your neck. We're here, we've been pummeling, doing all this. I get my reach, see, I'm here, I'm going to turn, and I'm going to throw you, and I'm going to keep your head. I, I don't know. Probably just your arm loss and choking, you know, all that stuff, right? Okay. So, so practice the other one. Just recognize that in case you flinch some Le Greco guy. You'll know as you're in the air. What do you have? You'll be like, no, Again, I'm going to reach across, watch his hip. With my other hand, I get my head right here. See, now I'm going to use my head to get up under this side. So, there's my little, little, little turtle head in there, all right? Watch the hip, get your head on his neck, and I start forcing that head to the other side. Now I got the good on the flip side, right? And then what you have is a wizard. And we haven't really gone over that one yet, right? So I'm gonna drive that down. That's your wizard. Okay? But what are you doing? So okay. We're in here, but we're pummeling. Pummel me. And I can slip this over to my back. Like this, and I'm fucked. Right? So I don't want to get tossed. I'm gonna 
Oh, what control his arms to get my base down. We did this and the other, and I'm going to hold his foot. But chuck me down, so I'm going to pick me up, right? And I'm going to stay in here. And the last thing we just buck counter this, right? Okay, let's do this. Right here, I'm going to hook it, I'm going to hold the hook, and I'm going to get under his leg. And I'm going to try and get him down in a hard fall, okay? One way to do it. This one right here, he goes to my back. Right here, hook his foot. Two underneath. Drive fall on him. Okay? There's one. See, there's another one. I've been doing this up a long time. Okay. So you go over here. I go right here. I hook. Oh, I'm going to roll, okay? I'm going to just start my roll this way and stop. I'm trying to get out. Okay? We'll practice those a couple times too. And then a counter to that. Guys, you get to know that's when I get a bit. Uh, I don't know. So from here, I hook. Okay, so you want to chuck me? I want you to chuck me. I'm going to roll. Okay, I'm going to roll. Because I don't want to get back on it. Get back hooking on that when I do it. Just keep me honest. I'm going to throw him, he hooks my foot, so I'm going to hurdle throw him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to lift, step my foot up, turn him to the mat. And that works for all those stuff, for the head throw, everything. You're in here, and he's doing that, he just... Okay? Like if I'm here and I got my this throw, he can just hurdle me back, step that foot, and I'll get up. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like that. Okay? That sucks. So he throws, whatever he's he can move on. Yeah. Going down. Okay? So let's hurdle the counter right now. See you're steering? Legs pump out like you're hurdling. Okay. Let's just put the last bit rather than going into shots, single legs, double legs, ankle picks, which are all like there's like all kinds of stuff, obviously. Let's just play this a pummeling game with a throws. Dance though. Don't be out there fighting and trying to wrench the guy <coughs> apart. Just dance and flow. But a pummel and try and get a throw, get a trip, kick the back. But if you're on the back, you know, lift, you don't have to dump them, you just pick them up where he knows you could, drop them back down, get that hurdle, let them down easy, don't flap them down and all that stuff. Don't grab that leg and boom, <laughs> the pro wrestling body slam on the guy. Just a dance, pummel, play around, break your clinch apart. Keep your hands up, come back in, hand fight, hand fight, clinch, clinch, pummel, 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 ooh, God, it's good one, you know. Okay, let's do it. Environmental awareness. Watch the brick wall. Other crap. Environmental awareness. The whole time, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put my hands behind my back and he has his. And all we're going to do is the battle for the angle of head of foot control. Okay, so what I ideally want is this right here. I'm right in his neck on the side. He's here, I can get all kinds of stuff. I can obviously get these. I can get this. I can get his leg. I can get an ankle. I can get an underhook feet because I'm on his side. So he doesn't want that, so he's going to fight for that side too. Now, this is how guys. 
hit black eyes and ears too. So keep your head in, your mouth closed, and you're just dabbling for head control. And that's she's got it right on the side. Okay? So just play that light a bit, and you knuckleheads <laughs> who like want to MMA, you should do that religiously. And then, then you'll be one of those goofy wrestlers holding beer going, ah, headbutting each other, and, <laughs> like rugby players and soccer guys. And yeah, don't do it. Some football player. Huh. Those guys. <laughs> okay? So, head fight now. <laughs> nice life. <laughs> nice life. Then for 20 minutes, you just pump it. No shots, no throws. We're just going to pummel battle for underhooks. It's going to be our big goal. And it will wear you out this while. You'll get all the strength you need. And now do a pummel. Okay, let's add hand stand pummel. Hand side and pummel. That's all we do now for about 10 minutes. We'll play that game. Then we build and then go get a spark. And then it's fresh. I've got a base, I've got a feel, I got his game feel. Now I'm going to okay, let's spar. I'll, I'll, I'll clinch. I'll go ahead and clinch. I'm not so worried about it now. Okay? Okay, so what do we want to do next? <coughs> side mount, side control. Side, side control, control, yeah. Okay, to, to finish off, when we get to top, side control. Sometimes not getting the submissions. Okay, let's do a quick review of various. The mount, didn't we do the mount last night? Uh, yeah. Mount escape, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, okay, let's not do mount escape again because if I teach it again, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck up off of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so across the sides. You know what? Actually, we'll do this a drill just because I think this is just like a fundamentally critical drill. Okay, when I'm in my cross and sides, now it's not to say that all of those other ones that I do and have learned and others that teach and I teach are, are wrong. Like this side control is not wrong. This one's not wrong. They're not wrong. They're just not a fundamental thing first that I like having everyone have this hip instinct, which I'll explain in a second first, okay? So, in this, the idea is my hands are always around his body, around his hips. Whether I'm north-south, cross sides right, cross sides left. And my hands are surrounding his hips because I want to block out his guard. And I want to be able to apply all my weight on him and not have to use my knees, which removes weight off of him, blocking his guard. Okay, so my hands are always back, blocking his guard, and when I, I can, he's going to hold all my weight. In other words, I'm not on my knees holding my weight, he's going to hold it. I put all my weight right on him, I reach him, I grab under his body, hold his lap in here, and I squeeze his chest into mine, and then I twist mine, and I'm a lot heavier now, huh? Mm -hmm. Am I a little heavy? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I'm really light, and I know right now I'm heavy on you, huh? Yeah. Like, it, 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 it sucks down there, right? A little bit, yeah. I, I, I want it to really suck, so I feel like he is. Does it suck yet? Yeah, it sucks. How about it? <laughs> Quiet, bud. Okay, so, well, practice just that. I'm going to come here, then I'm going to move to north south. And in this spot, I like to take my hips. I fold his, his head to one side, and I lay all my weight right on his head. Doesn't that suck? <laughs> Sucks awful, huh? And then I work to the other side, again blocking his hips and guard, come up underneath, and I'm drawing my weight back, down, and in. And I'm twisting it like I'm twerking and going, Wah! 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. Right? And here you gotta go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now that sucks, huh? Yeah. Okay. So it's pressure in there. Let me, let me get this big guy. Big guy. Okay. So again, I'm blocking it. My hands are around the hips. I'm reaching up under. I'm squeezing you in to me. And I'm twisting my little torque pressure in here. So that's some pressure in there, right? I'm a lot yeah. heavier than on this lightweight now, I feel. I have heavyweight envy. I lay my head right on your, my uh, stomach on your head. That really sucks, huh? Yeah. I can put more pressure in there. I work my way to the other side, get underneath, and draw my weight back, down, and in a torque. Put it on there. Okay? That's all I want. Let's just do that back and forth. And I watch guys say, fucking don't block the guard up. They're nuts. Then they go back in the guard. Then they flip around and roll and do all this work past the guard and weep back in the guard. I mean, that person should have to earn their guard back now. You just went in the hierarchy of spots, being the best, the back, second best, the mouth. Right up there, like even, is, is this in the knee ride. Then, um, what's next? The top of a quarter is next. This is the next best in the hierarchy of spots. Then comes the top guard. And then half guard is a whole branch of the debate whether half guard's good or half mount. It's one's the same depending on who's the most skilled. Okay? Then goes bottom guard, and then in there depends on whether he's closed guard, neutral, spider guard, his slight advantage, because he can hit me and I can't hit him. You know, it's all, there's ranges of it, but basically, the guard's neutral, I pass his guard, I'm in a really bitching spot, I'm out in an even bitching spot. I have to abandon it. I slip knee right. I'm still in an awesome spot. He screws up. I remount. I'm in a great spot. He really F's up. I'm on his back. I'm in the best spot because it's the only spot that I can be on bottom and I'm still in the best spot. The other ones I have to maintain top. In this spot, I'm still in the best spot. Okay? So, in this hierarchy of spots, he's got a good spot. Let's get you down. He doesn't want to lose it. Now, if he's holding me down. He's screwing up because he's on my boob, not my heart. So I'm going to start being able to push him down and get a guard back. So he's got to be up above right there. Now I have zero arm leverage. I can't push. I can't do that. And if he, if he wants, he just walk to north-south, crush my head. See, I'm trying to do it. Go to the other side. Ah, oh, you're gonna take your hand there. Where'd you get that stupid out of from? It's a terrible. <laughs> now, if you do move that hand, a knee replaces it. And if you're new, I say put your knee there before you move your hand. Okay, so lie down real quick. So I say, don't do this. Do this. Your knee right there. Now you can take it away and hold his hips and start doing some other things. But something has absolutely got to block that guard. Because the, 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 when you go grapple more experienced guys, um, it's all guard. It's all guard. If they have a chance, they're on bottom, they're going to get their guard. So you have to block it. Newer guys, and, and I watch them, they're like, I have all the chance in the world to get a guard because the guy's doing this. What are you doing? Get your guard. Get your guard. Hey, oh. So, okay, now, I had a point and I lost it. You were asking where the pressure comes to there. Oh, the side belt. where the pressure are you? Yes, so if you're above here, don't be down here. Okay, keep it high, right in the right heart to heart contact, 
squeeze their body in and twist and torque. Okay? Okay, so um, let's move on to escaping out of that spot. Is that what you want to do? When, when it sucks really bad? Yeah. Okay. When it sucks really, really, really bad, you're stuck. Because if he has a really good hold down, which is why in that hierarchy it's such an awesome spot, is because it sucks. That's why it's, it's his advantage. And you actually probably, you almost have more um, holding power here than a mount, except in the mount you have all the gravity bands and strikes. Whereas here, if he removes his hands to punch, he starts opening up escapes. So it's more of a holding spot than a hitting spot. But what I want, oh, you know what, actually let's unpack here in person. Let's do so we make sure that we don't screw this up. Okay. So if I can uh, capture th this arm in here, I'm going to reach up and I'm going to grab it. I'm going to hold it really tight in here. I'm going to work my way to north-south and flatten on his head. I'm going to lean up, sandwich his head with my knees. My shoulder drives in his chest. I replace the weight that I'm going to remove with my palm. I press and pull and lift. I take a deep step. Step my other foot up, pinch my knees together, pivot my butt, grab his hands, sit back, knees tight, heels in, toes driving the mat, and arm lock. Okay? So anytime I can look capture his arm, I'm just going to do it. You see, I will lift his arm. I'm leaning, I'm pressing, pushing, and pushing, pulling, pressing. Ground out before he reaches and blocks his arm out, right? So we're going to do that a bunch of times first, okay? So he's going to arm lock. Now, what I got to watch, escape your arm here, see, is that. So I got to use my head, escape your arm. See, I'm using my head. I'm using my head. Escape your arm. Now I'm going to use an escape as that catch because I know it's going to go right into my grip, okay? Arm lock much tight first. <laughs> but you guys all know that arm lock? Yeah. Yeah? Arm pops out, I catch it. Okay? And down here, I'm trying to get him, he's really fighting to escape it. I catch it. And uh, again, I lift his shoulder up. Because if I'm here, hold it tight. Now I'm battling it. I'm going to lift his shoulder up, I'm going to get nice. So I, I, I push, I force his head down. I'm, I'm going to try and pull right between here and here. So my leg's forcing his head down, and I'm lifting straight up before I do this. Okay? So he's in there, he's gripping, he's, he's tight, and he's walking. Get your head, your leg right on his head. Force his head down, lift it up. I like to pinch that head. Okay? Trying to escape out of that thing. Bastard, I'm trying to go catch it. And I just get it, or he grips it tight. See, so, yeah, my butt cheek is like pressing down on his neck. Lift. Okay? Add that one. Now, again, if it's on really good, the pressure's really good, I'm going to be down here for a while. Because it's just it's hard to escape. I can get my arm out of there. I can still get more out of here. This is just like a bad spot. I want to get my, my my hand. Move this right here. I want to have it right here and here, or right here and here. Okay, those are the spots. Either, either like this, I want my hands, or like this. I usually do it. I like this way the best. So if my hands under here stuck. What I gotta do is as as I move moving around, I gotta make space to bring my arm underneath. Now I can't just well bring it underneath because he'll he'll put some pressure in there and I can't do it. I gotta lift up and drop under and make some space. Okay, so I'm under here and he's walking up. I lift up, I drop under and I'm making space and I'm pushing on his hip here with my elbow. Some guys use wrists. The problem is they can hip snap your wrist and that really hurts sometimes because that happens when you're just out here and they hip snap in there. So I, I use like the blade edge of my hand 
or my elbow if it's close enough. And I push like that, so I'm opening up. Now what I try and do is I get my hands together and get both hands under my chest because I want to stop that well, pressure under there. It works as well when he's got his other hand on the other side and his hand over there and he's got his knee up in there. See, I gotta make some space and I gotta get my hands in here, ball them up and get right there. So as he squeezes, I can pressure on, push him away. I got some leverage in here now. Okay, so hop off here real quick. So this is where I like to be. Well, like I'm crying under there. Oh, my mouth's so bad. Curling up like a baby, okay? Or my hands are here. So here so I can do this, or here so I can do this. If you're out here, you're, you're shot out, okay? So come back over here. Whichever way he has me, I want to get my hands here. i got to create some space by oofing, dropping under there, and getting my hand there. Now, is that easy? No, it's a fight. It's a fight like a... Sometimes you just you're down there for the entire fight or the rest of your life. You know, like a Keegan's hold down or something like that. You're down there for the rest of your life. Okay? But if I can get there, great. So I'm blocking his hip. I like to get both hands in here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna oop again, I'm gonna buck and move, and I'm gonna get more space. And as soon as I get any space either, this thing's gonna shoot under here, or this knee's going to come under here, or this knee's going to come up over here. But what I want to do is, is I'm going to ball up, and I'm going to bring my knees to my shoulders, in between our bodies. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want to get that weight off so I can recover the guard. That's the first escape method. Okay, so I get to here. Opening up as soon as I can get anything in between. I'm going to put there my knees. I'm balling up. Okay, then I can do some good leg, leg reaching, grabbing, and all that other stuff. Okay, so I'm here. Push. So I'm getting my knees up like that. So he's holding me down, holding me down pretty good. Oh, this sucks. Some space, got my knees in there. Okay, that's the first one we'll do. And then, then there's another one where the guy just feels like he's 300 pounds and he can't get any damn space. Okay, let's do it. So when he does that, when he sees up there, one of, the, one of the ones I like the best is I like to reach up, grab his hip. If he's no gear, I'm going to just place my hands right on his hip bone. Okay, now, this works by huge amounts of momentum. The small way of it is my legs are doing this. Really, they're going to be good. Okay, you're going to be whipping your legs around. So hold me down pretty good. Pretty tight north-south. I'm going to be crushing my head. I'm going to block his hips. Because in some ways I want to keep him from running to left cross side to right cross side. I'm kind of blocking him. I kind of want him up there now. And I'm pushing him away from me. And I'm going to start rocking my head. I like to turn him to the side. Okay? So you're, you're really getting a whoom, 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 the other way, the other way, this way, that way. <laughs> oh, you went back to the front. Oh, shoulder through the seat, okay? You guys got that? Really, wake your butt. 
Reacting to your blood pressure game, you become the wind game. And he starts to pick up your wind pattern and drop pressure on you. So you've got to play from game to game. So I'm in here and I'm holding it down tight. I felt like I was, I felt like I was using Jono for a second. Now I don't need more, so now I'm going to be John Jack. So I'm going to pop up over here. Now I'm going to be Hegan again. Oh, I'm going to be Jean Jack. Trying to hold it, he'll escape every time. So it's about changing your game. You can't have one gear. You can't have one speed. You can't just be a heavyweight. You can't just be a lightweight. You got to change your game. Does that make sense? So if you're on top now, play that, and then you'll start nailing arms, and you'll pick that stuff off because you're going to be holding him down. And they're fighting to get out, and then you're going to do this, and then you're going to cap through the arms. Okay? Because you're just going to come out. Okay? Complete with sound effects. <laughs> Never goes away. Okay, so 
Sh show me exactly how the and Okay. Fresh. Okay. I've got a lot of that. It's it's really instinctive when the guys are look past me like that. When they're looking over here, people want to reach up and grab. The best thing you can do is when they're there. I I use the arm a pit escape a lot, which is this. He goes. My hand's going to go right in his arm. Here. And I'm going to push his armpit down as I move my hips back. I'm just moving it straight back. And I use that for over, unders, and round passes. It's kind of a lazy escape in a lot of ways because I rely on it way too much. Sit there. I'll get my yard back. So go. He starts to pass. I'm going to go. See, I'm just right on the armpit. And I'm pushing as I'm holding my leg through. And then I try all kinds of attacks off of there and stuff. So it's kind of become a lazy game where I'll let people get that because I want attacks out of it a lot of times too. Now, let's back up. The guard, there's basically four lines of, of, of guard offense. And then we, I, I like to teach them from the underpass mainly, even though they kind of work for overs and rounds too. Okay, the first one is he starts to pass under. I'm gonna loop my leg and bring it back. You guys probably all work this one, right? He starts. I'm not gonna let him do it. I'm looping my legs. He goes to overpass, I loop my leg the other way. Just looping my legs. He does his under, I'm looping my legs. Pressure, you see, you see my knee comes in. Pull, loop, pull. Now it's getting where I can't do it. He's in deeper. So now I do the hip block, shoulder block, and my hips, rather than moving into the pass, go away from the pass. He comes up and cover my guard. So he starts his pass. I can't loop anymore. So my hip is going into the pass first, then my hip goes away from the pass. I mean, into the arm he's passing, then away, and then back in, right? So he passes. These are nice pass maps. So these are good guard maps. See? Now I slip my head out, got my knee in, and I cover my guard. So he goes, I pass, I block the hip, hip away. See my hip point. I'm not trying anymore to get my leg under, I keep passing. I keep trying this. Uh, my hips got to go out first. My hips got to go out and then back in, and out and then back in. There you go. Lock, lock, lock. Lock. See, now, now he's smart. He's holding my other leg because that's why we hold that leg. Because it stops that hip from moving out, the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've got to do my arm pit escape here because he's getting too tight. So I put both hands right in the armpit. I push, keep passing, keep passing, see what I push. Now I get my knee up and get my guard back. The arm pit escape, okay? Does that make a lot of sense? I think it makes a shit lot of sense. Okay, lay on your back. Okay, so first line I start to pass is looping. Looping. I start to overpass, he loops over, or run, yep. See? Just can't get a hold of the sons of bitches. <laughs> his hips. Yeah, I get a little deeper so he can heavy leg. Heavy leg. He, he, as I lift, come here. Okay. As I heavy leg, I lock my hip out and I'm setting my hip. I'm setting my hip into the pass and into the side that's passing. See, but he keeps going. He keeps going. So I hip block. Scoop my hip away. Come back in. He did that hip block, the bastard. Come again. Okay? So he starts going. He's got a hold of my hip. I can't get it out. So I go to the armpits. See, and I start tacking out of the arm. Coming back up. I'm trying to win the shit out of the Okay? Is that good? Or do you want to just bring it way down and just stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four? That way? Okay. 
way of working this stuff and never stop moving even when you've stopped something's still kind of moving they can't feel and all that okay um so with that let's you guys can practice that we'll roll about around a bit and that will end the instructional phase of this session <laughs> i like how that sounds <laughs> okay yeah. all right we'll carry on play around graphics yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we have <laughs> shirts that are really cool, and it behooves you to purchase a shirt. Yeah, we only have a few left, so if you're size large, I think I have one large. I have a few XLs, so um, they're really cool. Chris drew them himself. They're really cool, so <laughs> you, you can go run right off where you're Versace and a guess, but if you want to be in, <laughs> we've got the rags. <laughs> okay. Where are they in my bag? Oh, uh, yeah. They're in the bag. Yeah. No, no one sneak off. It's not a shirt. Okay. Come on. 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 Down, 
<laughs> I've only got 10 minutes left, don't take me. I'll get first 10 minutes. If it does any longer, you can get last. When Dad gets slaughtered. <laughs> what you send Luke? You are spot someone in.
Three minutes to go. Should stop yours. Be back up. <laughs> I think Dad's going to get nailed in a minute. He is, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, Chris, nail it. I've only got three minutes. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> You got one minute thirty seconds to pull something off really good. Shade 